another video by Pakistan with Tech. Today gonna be a quick video. Today we're gonna look at the uh, the Netgear uh built for business pro safe series pro safe series. Uh we have the eight port and we have the sixteen port. Um for the eight port these are these are plug and play, so you just plug your Ethernet cable up, your power cable up. Uh, once you plug the power cord in, yeah, it basically ready to go. You don't have there's no software for you to um, change anything. port to see the difference and as you can see the picture on it the box is uh, I don't know box come a little bit uh, dinged up but I mean really don't need a box for anything right all right so tape is still on it Damn, diggy diggy, damn, damn. Well, I was trying not to use a knife. So, let's see. Oh, gotta cut the uh, tapes on the side still. So, let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. All right. So, first thing that's there is the installation, installation manual. Uh, tells you the switch, how to connect. You have the uh, the switch. You have the Ethernet. Go to the back of your computer, or computers. Um, you have your uh, modem, and you can also connect a second router to it. So this is what we're actually going to do. So each room has a each room has an Ethernet jack in it. And each Ethernet jack in each room also have a switch on it. Which is a Netgear switch. So currently I am using the TP link for the um, 16 port switch and also the 8 port switch in each room. And this, this is right here and the, little, the right hand side is telling you what the flashing LEDs mean. So the green is power on, when it's no light is power off. The link light goes solid, the activity light is blinking, not blinking or doing anything, no link. And of course the, um, if it's a 10, if it's a 100 megabytes per second or 10 megabytes per second, stay a wrench. And if it's a one gigabytes per second, it, it's, um, stay solid green also. So this also show you the speed. And of course, on the other side, um, just telling you about the specification and what you need. Netgear also have a, a, a app genie, but you're not gonna use the app genie because there's no software that goes with this. So I'm gonna keep these in here. All right, so let's see here. All right, so let's bring this up. All right, packaging, packaging. And then here you go. You have the switch is still in the box. This is, remember, this is a 16 port. Remember, this is a 16 port, right? So you got two, four, six, eight on each side, two, four, six, eight. And these are the lights that I was telling you about that will, the top light, the ones up top are the link light for the first eight. And then the bottom lights are the link light and uh, activity light for the second eight. So first eight, second eight. First eight light, 
second eight light. Power light. And this is what the back look like. Just a regular power cord. And you have the Kensington lock right here. All right, we'll go ahead and put that to the side. I want to see what else comes in the box. All right, so only thing else that comes in the box is your power cord. And these are your mounting brackets. Mounting brackets for the server rack. Now they do give you some some uh, 3M foot. These are footing that you can put underneath the bottom of the uh, the switch if you don't want to mount it. And this will give it enough space where hair can go in between. And another thing, this 16 port and uh, um, the eight port, they're both fanless, so it's going to be completely silent because there's no fan in it. And there's a rack. These are the rack mount, each side, left or right. All right, gonna throw these back in the bag. It's just the power cord and the, uh, the rack mount, the, uh, the brackets for the rack that comes in it. And like I said, this is the 19 inches that, that get rock, rocked in the night. This is the the, uh, the switch that, get, that goes in a rack. Because remember, they have a second one, that, another one that you can use that don't have a rack to, that you don't put in a rack all right so this one here is an eight port this is an eight port neck gear and again this is the pro safe version uh you can actually use it in home or in small business uh i don't i mean you can use it in a data center but you won't be using it for um for that purposes maybe to kind of a few desktop computers or something like that but other than that you're gonna need a managed version for um, separating networks with VLAN and stuff like that. All right, so. And another thing, these here come with these both these switches, both neck, I, I'm not 100% sure of all, I know the pro safe, the pro, the pro safe version of Netgear come with um, lifetime war lifetime hardware warranty and lifetime tech support and lifetime uh, next business day if they gotta return if they gotta if they gotta send you ship the order another one. So I know TP Link do come with lifetime warranty too, but I'm not 100 percent sure what their warranty is like. Um, I currently have uh, three TP Link right now in. Um, a server rack I built and the TP link um, one of the eight port short the uh, the 16 port out so it keep resetting and every time I reset everything goes offline and again these are just paperwork that comes in a box um, there's nothing much to it just like a regular switch and this right here is the Eight port. Don't forget, these are unmanaged, so you don't need no software or anything. I'm telling you. And again, these are the eight port. This one is the eight port. So in total. I'll need one eight port for every room. And as you can see, there's four on each side. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can see the little line that separate them. This again, this is the eight port. This is solid, solid metal. So since this is solid metal, this also serve as a, uh, this help to um keep the device cool because the heat can spread all over the metal because it's fanless and of course you have the of course you have the uh the, the um the, the 3m tape for the legs in case you don't want to well you can't rock it anyway you got some screws that you can mount it onto the wall the um 
mold it on the wall or put it put it on your desk and of course you got your power power cable so that's just about it that comes in the uh the box there's nothing else to it you plug your power cord up i mean you, you plug your cables in ethernet cables in you plug your power cord up and you make sure the switch is on or off this is a kensington um lock so This is the neck gear. Got a port on this side. You got a port on the other side. You got the first eight, one to not one to eight on this side. Link light, activity light. Uh, nine to sixteen on the right side. Activity light and link light. These tell you what type of device, what speed device is connected to the switch. And again, because the unmanned switch, it auto negotiate between your computers or servers or printer, it already negotiate and what it does, since you don't have any software to program it to tell it what is what and what goes to what port, it remember where everything is stored. You use a small table to remember where all your devices are stored. So, all right, let's go take a look at... Uh